Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing second part of module 5 that is electron beam machining process. So, this process is almost very similar to the laser beam machining process since uh, both the processes uh, we are removing the excess material like whatever the output we are looking for in the workpiece uh, which can be done by using the uh, thermal uh, energy. So, like in in, uh, in which way this electron beam machining is diff uh, differing from the laser beam machining process means uh, the basically mechanism. So, like it will be very interesting even, uh, uh, you know, like uh, uh, to know more about this electron beam machining. So, in this particular video, we will be discussing about uh, what is electron beam uh, machining, that is its introduction and what principle it is working, the equipment and mechanism of metal removal. So, all those things we will be discussing in this video. We shall move to the first slide. In the image, you could able to see an electron beam. So generally, what do you mean by electron beam? So uh, when we know like uh, if you take any atom, uh, it consists of protons, neutrons and electrons. Where protons are positively charged uh, and electrons are negatively charged and neutrons are neutrally charged. And nucleus, everything will be there. We know like all those things, protons and uh, uh, neutrons combination we call it as a nucleus and always in the outermost I mean uh, in the uh, orbits which is covered over the nucleus uh, where the electrons will be there and the outermost orbit where the electrons which is present in atom usually it will uh, react in the either emission or absorption of any other uh, things but what is the concept of this electron beam machining here I'll be using an electron beam it means this negatively charged particles that is electrons uh, by means of some mechanism, we can collectively, you know, like uh, make uh, this uh, electrons activated and this uh, fast moving electron, say for example, 60 to 70 percent speed of light by means of making uh, this electrons uh, uh, to move at a speed of 60 to 70 percent of uh, light speed, uh, you know, like the thermal energy will be induced. By using the thermal energy, the useful operations can be done. So, in simple words, we can remember that electron beams is the thing, but the, you know, like uh, the highly uh, charged negative particles, that is electrons, which uh, the cluster of electron uh, I will be allowing to move faster, that is the speed of 60 to 70 percent of the light. So, this, uh, you know, like uh, the very fastest moving electron beam can be, uh, you know, like uh, allowed to, you know, like uh, uh, to hit any workpiece. So, this electron beams, these negatively charged, like charged electron beams will be having a, a more uh, heat energy. And this process is almost similar to the uh, like a laser beam uh, process in which way means there we will be you know like uh, introducing the photons like light energy and finally red, flu uh, red fluorescent light the clusters and again uh, focusing lens and all those things there. Here also like almost the process is similar but instead of the photons here will be purely depending on only electrons. So actually this concept this electron beam machining concept was uh, invented uh, in Germany in the year 1952 by uh, great uh, Dr. K.H. Uh, Steger Wald. And uh, this electron beam machining is a high energy beam uh, machining process. And uh, here electrical energy is used to generate high energy electrons. So we know like movement of uh, electrons we will be calling it as uh, uh, current so here uh, uh, we will be calling instead of movement of electrons we can even in simple words we can call it as an electrical energy which is used to generate high energy electrons again for i uh, you know like a uh, moving of this particular electrons so will be depending on the electrical energy only now the mechanism of material removal is primarily by uh, as usual like melting and rapid vaporization due to the intense heating by the electrons if you see the operation just leave about the working principle and the, the way you know like the source is supplied except that the way of uh, you know, like removing uh, the materials uh, from the workpiece it is very similar to the laser beam machining process here you can able to see like here also like a melting and rapid vaporization and as usual here also will be depending on some carrier gases by using that we will be carrying away the vaporized uh, uh, metallic ion particles here uh, we will uh, just discuss uh, the major components of uh, uh, electron beam machining you can able to see to produce that uh, fast moving electrons uh, we will be completely depending on uh, the cathode grid so cathode grid you can able is a very important uh, component and which is present in the uh, like the cup shape it is present and this cathode grid uh, basically it is uh, negatively charged uh, and what the material used for the cathode grid is a tungsten rod and you can able to see this uh, high voltage cable 
you can able to 30 kilowatts direct current now that to not indirect current direct current which is being supplied to this negatively charged the cathode grid that is a tungsten rod and below this we can able to see this uh, of course the current uh, we, it, it will always move from the negative charge to the positively charged we can able to see this when the high voltage uh, current is passed through this cathode grid the electrons which is present on this tungsten it release like fast moving uh, uh, you know like uh, for the, the the current which is passing through this cathode rod it makes the uh, electrons which is present in the tungsten rod are uh, to excite so that movement of the electrons uh, and even the electrons get activated and that movement also will be there and it will try to move from the negative to the positive charge you can able to see this for that uh, the you know like intentionally this anode uh, setup is uh, kept and uh, this uh, you know like fast moving electrons will be collected uh, uh, separately uh, through the wall which will be supplied you can able to see like electron stream you can able to see this electron stream and this can be seen in the optical uh, viewing system like how the electrons are moving uh, in the microscopic uh, setup all those things we can able to uh, see here so this fast moving uh, electron stream it will be allowed to pass through two major uh, parts so that is magnetic lens and the deflection coils these two this so what is the purpose of passing it through the magnetic lens so it will increase the i know like the velocity of this particular electron stream and deflection coil it will make sure that the electrons will not get diverted to this side or that side so this electrons will directly hit over the workpiece which is present on the work table and all this process is happening in the vacuum chamber so why means the uh, the electrons may get diverted or like other chemical changes may happen in the presence of air or any other uh, uh, gases like oxygen or nitrogen so because air is basically consists of uh, nitrogen and uh, air and other gases no so this process should be done only in the vacuum chamber and this is a weaving board where we can able to make sure that okay the required amount of the excess material has been uh, removed from the workpiece that we can check it out and uh, there is a high vacuum pump this is for uh, whatever the the particles uh, uh, which we are uh, removing as a result of uh, the fast moving electrons uh, that uh, vaporized uh, uh, you know like ion particles uh, that i will be carrying out with the help of a high vacuum pump so here vacuum chamber and vacuum pumps plays a very very important role and along with that the major components in the tungsten rod that is a cathode rod below that an anode is there and uh, through a wall uh, is something like a nozzle wall so that we can able to improve the speed of the, uh, the fast moving electrons and uh, magnetic lens and diffraction uh, lens are there to make sure that uh, uh, we are increasing uh, and uh, we are increasing the velocity and we are avoiding the uh, diversion or the deflection of the, the electron stream so the line diagram also we can able to see in the examination if you are okay with the previous diagram you can go with this or else if you are not okay with you can go with this one where we can able to see the tungsten filament rod and uh, the cathode and anode see the tungsten it is almost connected with uh, this one uh, the filament rod and below this anode rod is there and uh, the electronic stream and always like focusing coil and deflection coil for uh, uh, diverting and to increase the power uh, like well, uh, like electron uh, stream um, the density and high vacuum chamber is there because the, everything even the previous also can able to see this is also a vacuum chamber because we make sure that the electron stream is not uh, uh, getting away or moving away from this and here the work pieces are there all those things again you can able to see like through this process only uh, if uh, the ionized particles uh, is uh, removed so moving to this electron beam machining process so electron beam negatively charged particles is generated in electron beam gun the electron beam gun provides high velocity electrons over a small uh, spot size due to pattern of electrostatic field produced by the grid cup electrons are focused and made to flow in the form of a converging beam through anode the electrons are accelerated while passing through the anode by applying high voltage at anode a magnetic diffraction coil is used to make electron beam circular and to focus electron beam at a point localized heating the workpiece to be machined is located under the electron beam and is kept under vacuum the high energy focused electron beam is made to impinge on the workpiece with a spot size of 10 to 100 micrometer the kinetic energy of the electrons upon striking the workpiece changes to heat which melts and vaporizes the minute amount of the material so we will continue uh, you know like uh, still uh, the other parts the like what is the cathode anode and other things in the upcoming video thank you